real demo integration between Odoo and build.com. A little bit about Odoo. Odoo is an ERP suite that provides all business needs such as CRM, e-commerce, manufacturing, accounting, inventory management, point of sale, project management, and many more. On the other hand, build.com is a cloud-based payments platform. It facilitates fast to secure ACH payments and automates approvals through their system. We at BC Solutions have carefully designed the process workflow reduced manual intervention, and most importantly, paid minute details and attention to the security aspects. Before I dive into the demo, here's the process workflow I would like to highlight. This integration, we have uh, built it for versions 13 and 14. So it's pretty up to date and has been taken care of based on real times feedback and information and requirements. This integration handles two aspects. One is the vendor management. The other one is the bill management. If you are an existing bill.com and Odoo user, the initial setup Vista will help you link the bill.com vendors with Odoo vendors. That way, you can immediately start processing uh, your vendor bills and payments. But other than that, any new vendor that is created in Odoo, the process is as follows. So vendor is created, all the required information is entered. The accounts table decides whether to push this vendor to bill.com or not. If they do decide, there's a smart button on the vendor card. Once you process that, the vendor information is pushed to bill.com, a vendor is created, an ID generated. That ID is passed on to the Odoo vendor, and that ID is recorded in the vendor card. After this, any information such as physical address, email address, banking information is updated in Odoo. The users can push that information into bill.com. Generally, when a vendor created in bill.com, if it does not have the banking information, the preferred payment method is bill check. Once the banking information is updated, bill.com changes that preferred method as electronic transfer. So to ensure all the vendor, vendor information is housed in Odoo, and then any updates are pushed into bill.com. This is the process. Moving on to bill management. Accounts payable receives a vendor bill through email or through their mail. Details are entered into Odoo. If they need to attach any documents such as the vendor bill or contract, etc., they can do that in Odoo. And once they confirm, a vendor bill is generated. Again, accounts payable decides whether to push this vendor bill to bill.com or not. All the vendors that have been linked to bill.com, those vendor bills can be pushed to bill.com. Otherwise, our integration will throw an error asking the accounts payable user to first link the vendor and then push the vendor bills. So once the bill is sent to bill.com, the bill is created, an ID generated, that ID is pushed on to the vendor bill. Based on the due date, users will go, accounts payable or who is authorized to make payments in bill.com will go to bill.com and process the payment, whether they need to process a group of vendor bills or single bill, whatever the case may be, they process the payment in bill.com. There is a scheduler in Odoo, which runs at fixed intervals of time, whether it's daily, hourly, the space that can be set up based on user preference. That scheduler fetches any payments processed in bill.com for the bills pushed to bill.com. So once they find these payments, it takes that information and updates the vendor bills 
that have been processed in bill.com. And they mark that the bill as scheduled payment. It's scheduled payment because the process date is in the future. Based on the process date, when the bill is processed by bill.com and the vendor receives them, re receives the money, again, the scheduler finds those payments. When bill.com processes that payment as paid, uh, the bill as paid, the scheduler funds that information and then updates that same vendor bill as paid or in payment, which is in version 14 process. And then subsequently, users can do their batch payments in Odoo for the reconciliation process. So this is the process of vendor management and bill management. I'm gonna to go to Odoo and show you the demo as to how the vendors are created and pushed to bill.com and their bills. I am in version 14. I've logged in as Michelle admin. I can search for the users and here I can see that Michelle admin has the access to bill.com. And we have done this because we do not want all the users to have bill.com access, all the accounting users, for example, all these specific people who are authorized to do this. Apart from this, this is the scheduler, which pulls in the payments from bill.com. And here is the configuration, which has the username, password, PLOP key, whatever is required to connect to bill.com. I'm gonna to go to the first step, create a vendor. Go to accounting, vendors, create a vendor. Name it demo vendor. Give it an address. Enter the email address and make sure I have all the other information. Once I save it, this vendor is created. Now, as Michelle admin, admin has access to, uh, to bill.com, the user can see the update on bill.com button. Click on it. And an ID has been generated by bill.com and it has been saved in Odoo. Based on this note, we know that the vendor is linked to bill.com. Now this note is up here because if any subsequent changes by any user on, on the vendor, such as the address change, email address, they need to ensure that it is updated on bill.com. If I move to bill.com and the sandbox version, if I go to vendors, I can find that vendor just created. And you can see that it's mail check. The next step, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna enter the banking information. Go to edit, enter a test bank information. I have to ensure the routing number is correct. Otherwise, it's throwing error. At any point of time, you can have only one banking information active per vendor. So if you have to create one more new banking information, you can do so, but you have to ensure that this is unchecked as an active. I'm gonna click on update on bill.com. Once I do so, go to vendors, go refresh the screen and see what changes have been recorded in bill.com. I can see that this has changed to electronic payments. Bill.com does also have a feature where you can send a link to your vendors and the vendors will access that link and enter the banking information themselves. So they don't have to share their banking information 
uh, with, with the other users with their client. Um, in this case, users will not create a banking information over here. The next step, I'm gonna go ahead and create a vendor bill. Internal bill reference. I put that due date as like this. Enter all the information. Account number. Now this bill also can be generated in Odoo through a purchase order through, through the three-way matching. Right. Save it. Confirm. Again, Shell Admin has the access to push it to bill.com. Now we our integration allows users to send a single in bill to bill.com or a group of bills to bill.com, whatever the case may be. So right now I'm going to send this single one. And then you can see a bill dot bill ID has been generated. That means it has been linked to bill.com. I can go to bill.com, refresh the screen again. And I can see that bill has been created. It's all the information such as the bill number, the due date, etc. We also push the Odoo link, which is actually the bill link. This is really helpful for, for those users who do not actually go a lot into Odoo. Their job is to go into bill.com and process payments. They can still, as if they are in the approving authority, they can access this link and actually view the bill, the attachments, who has created, et cetera. So this information is more helpful and in one place they can get all the required information. Once the bill is created, the next step is to pay. Again, you can pay a group of invoices or you can pay a single bill. Now this is the payment process date. Sure everything is there. I have to update the memo, etc. I pay. Once I pay in bill.com, it has gone to schedule payment because it is the process date is in the future. Well, next step, this information is not yet updated in Odoo because the scheduler will is set to execute every day. I can change this, but for now, I'm gonna run it manually. Once I run it manually, the payment information has been imported back into Odoo. I can refresh this bill. And now I can see that it is scheduled. Once the payment is actually processed by bill.com and bill.com has confirmed the payment has been received by the vendor, the same scheduler will import that information and change this to in payment status. I can go to the payment and I can see the bill payment ID. I can see the journal entry and I can see the status. Really helpful because if I go to vendor bills, I can see all the payments that are scheduled. Really helps in the reconciliation. And you know, you have all the information. So this is how you would process your payments from Odoo to bill.com. Couple of other things. If I go to vendor bills, I have a smart filter, which gives me information on all bill.com, all the all the bills that need to be sent to bill.com. For example, if I go back to that one for, if I go back to this invoice, let's duplicate this, so confirm. I have another invoice. I can go back to the list view, use that filter, 
sent to build.com, it gives me all the bills of vendors that are linked in build.com. This is helpful because you would know at any point of time how many bills are not pushed to build.com. And you can use this option, send to build.com, which will process the payment to build.com. That way you don't have to individually sell the, send the bills to build.com. You also have a filter to see all the build.com invoices. I hope you find the process uh, useful. And if you have any questions or you would want to request a demo, please visit easterdelusions.com or contact at the number you can see on the screen. Thank you very much.